So I always begin with lens because you are kind of more familiar with it. Example, um, if I need to go and buy something, I can actually determine how far it is or how I can do a comparison. Like if I go to La Trocha or if I go to Mon Multipasa, I can tell about the lens because I know that La Trocha is far closer than Mon Multipasa. In any case, uh, conversions, conversions factor is just another way to compare things. In this case, we're going to compare lens. Now, I will provide you with what I consider to be the most useful conversion factors. It doesn't mean that there are uh, all the conversion factors you need. No. But if you know these conversion factors, you will be okay like for the rest of your life. Those are the conversion factors that I, that I memorized since I was in ninth grade. And I haven't forgotten any of them. If I haven't forgotten, means that they're actually good to remember, okay? They're not very, very difficult to remember. And anyway, I begin. Um, the main unit to express length that we use is the meter. Okay, so we're going to start with the meter. One meter is equal to wait. One meter is equal to a hundred centimeters. That is one of the most useful ones. One meter is also used uh, equal to thirty-nine point four inches. One meter is equal to 1.09 yards. And this one, I didn't give it to the other grade because I kind of forgot. And one meter is equal to 3.28 feet. That's one of the most useful ones. Now, I tend to separate because I want you to relate meters first related to the other thing. Now, I I will give you some other, like one yard, for example, is equal to three feet. One feet, one foot, sorry, is equal to twelve inches. Not synchronizing. I mean, that's, this is the only part I don't like uh, of this. Okay, now it does. So, as so I was saying, uh, one foot is equal to 12 inches. Now, we have some other conversion factors that are very, very useful. That is, uh, one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Also, one centimeter, you can take that from your, from your, from your ruler. One centimeter is, is equal to 10 millimeters. And then we have some other conversion factors that we use to measure uh, really long distances. One of them is kilometer. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters One mile is equal to 
1,609 meters, but also one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers. Okay, these are the units that I can tell you that are very useful to memorize. So you must um, keep them in your notebook. Now, I will solve one exercise, one example for you. If I have more time, I want to do more. So the instruction is bird. 23 miles. I can write the full word or I can write the, um, the symbol. Okay. So convert 23 miles into. Dart. Feet. And meters. Even though it is, it is just one single exercise. We have three answers, three possible answers. Now, what can you do from a problem or from a word problem or for a conversion problem? First, get used to determine what is the given and what is the unknown. So what is the problem given me? I mean, what is the information the problem is providing me about? It is the Let's call it the number, okay? It is the number value. So the given in this case, it's going to be the amount of miles, okay? This is what we're going to known as given. Now, the problem says that I should convert it into Chart, that is one answer. Fit, that is the other answer. And meters, which is the third answer. So, yards, fit, and meters. I don't know any of them. If I don't know the answer of them, if I don't know the representation of them, if I don't know uh, the number that they represent, I'm going to call this as a known. So this, exa uh, this exercise provides me of one given and three unknowns. So what we need to do now is to look for a path, okay? To look for a path to see in what way we're going to work with. So this path is just relating given against Unknown. Okay, so given I have miles and I need to find yards in the first place. I have problems to synchronize all this. Okay. Uh -huh. Did it, this in the first place. Then I have miles again, and I need to find what is my other unknown. Fit. Fit. And then I have again, my given is mile, and I need to find the other noun that is M stands for meters. Okay, so we're going to relate given against unknown. Now tell me, for miles, to yards. Do we have a conversion factor that relates both of them directly? No. No, right? So this one, 
we're not going to work on that one yet. Okay. Do I have a conversion factor that relates miles and feet? No. No, I don't have because check a look. My conversion factors that involves mile are here and there. Okay. And none of them is relating feet. Okay. They are related meters or kilometers. So no, I don't have a conversion factor for that neither. Now, do I have a conversion factor that relates miles and meters? Yes. Yes. So we're going to start with that one. Even though meters is that like the third, the third unknown, we're going to begin with that because that is the information that we have. Okay. So that is going to be the first step. So we say in part A, we're going to convert from miles to meters. So what we do in the first place is we're going to write that you, remember this, you, you can apply all this for, for all my classes. You can apply all this for all my classes, which is um, sorry. And you're gonna buy this. We always begin by the given. All the problems that we have, we always start with the given. So take a look at this. The idea is to write the given, okay? And that um, here, the conversion factor that we need, sorry, it's not that one, it's this one, right? The one that relates miles and meters. That one. This is very, very slow. Okay. That is the conversion factor I have to use. Now, this conversion factor, I can write it, or I should write it in a, in a form that looks like a fraction. Remember, a fraction is a, a portion of a whole number. Okay. And fractions have that shape. A over B. This is very slow. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so you can write the conversion factor in the way of writing the miles up and the meters down. Or you can also write it in the opposite way. This is very slow. This is not working. I hate this when this happens. Okay, that is one way to write it. Miles in the top, meters below. Or you can write it like meters on the top and miles below. Okay. Polycolor surprises me each time. So you have now to, uh, to put the fraction here, okay? But which one? Now take a look. Remember what I say. Consider this as a fraction, okay? So you can also write the given as a fraction. So consider this to be over one, over an invisible one. Now you have a fraction, okay? The miles given, put it as a fraction, okay? And now we need always to put the unit that you want to delete, it's always in the top, okay? And I'm going to bring this one here, wait. So what conversion factor are you going to be using? You need to put, uh, you need to choose the one that have, the, the one that has the units that you need to cancel in opposite positions, top 
and bottom, top and bottom. So which one has the miles in opposite positions, A or B? Bin A, the first option, and B, the second option. I did it several times. Okay, in B, miles are below. They are in opposite positions, which means that that is the conversion factor in that shape, in that way you're going to use it. So this conversion factor will be 23 miles times like that. In this way, you can cancel the miles. And the remaining unit is going to be the final answer. Now, how much you get when you do that conversion? Calculator, get your calculator. <laughs> 